subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today we will discuss about, Salesforce Development Life Cycle, and Deployment Designer. The Salesforce Development Life Cycle, and Deployment Designer course focuses on, how to manage Lightning Platform development, and deployment activities as well as effective communication of technical solutions to business, and technical stakeholders. Eligibility Requirement Eligibility requirements for Salesforce Certified Development Life Cycle, and Deployment Designer exam are mentioned below. First, BS degree in Computer Science, or equivalent degree. Second, 2 to 3 years of Salesforce platform experience. Third, 1 to 2 years of Salesforce experience working, or managing Salesforce projects. Fourth, 1 to 2 years of experience working on a steering committee. Fifth, completed at least one end-to-end -end software development lifecycle project. Now we will talk about, intended job roles. First, technical lead. Second, developer lead. Third, project manager. Fourth, release manager. Fifth, environment manager. Sixth, technical architect. Seventh, developers. Eighth, testers. Exam details. Exam name, Salesforce Development Lifecycle and Deployment Designer. Number of questions, 60 multiple choice, or multiple select questions. Time, 105 minutes. Passing score, 68%. Registration fee, 400 US dollars, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Retake fee, 200 US dollars, plus applicable taxes as required per local law. Now we will discuss about, scheduling the exam. The Salesforce Development Life Cycle, and Deployment Designer exam can be scheduled either at an on-site proctored center, or online with a virtual proctor through the Salesforce testing partner, Criterion Global Testing Solutions. Course Outline First, Environments, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Second, Application Lifecycle Management, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Third, Testing, which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Fourth, Governance which compromises 15% weightage for this exam. Fifth, risk identification and mitigation, which compromises 13% weightage for this exam. Sixth, change sets, which compromises 5% weightage for this exam. Seventh, metadata API, which compromises 8% weightage for this exam. Eighth, continuous integration techniques, which compromises 8% weightage for this exam. Ninth, Methodology Tools, which compromises 3% weightage for this exam. 10th, Understanding Packages, which compromises 3% weightage for this exam. Let us now discuss about course outline topics in detail. Number 1, Environments, 15%. It contains. First, given their customer landscape, and their requirements, evaluate business, technical, and architectural considerations while defining an appropriate org strategy. Second, Given a customer scenario, define an environment, sandbox, strategy, that utilizes the correct sandbox types, for example, multiple project streams, training requirements, staging, production, and hotfixes. Third, apply map sandbox strategy to a specific release plan, taking into consideration multiple project streams, training requirements, staging, and hotfixes. Fourth, Given a customer scenario involving a new Salesforce release, recommend the appropriate strategy to mitigate risk. Fifth, given a detailed customer environment scenario including, a specific request, explain the implications for incorporating the request directly in a production environment. Sixth, given a customer scenario, explain how source control branching, or versioning slash merging can be used and recommend appropriate strategies. Number two, application lifecycle management, 15%. It contains. First, given the project risk and customer requirement, explain how to assess the benefits and risks of the different development methodologies and recommend the appropriate methodology based on the customer environment. Second, given a customer scenario, describe and recommend an appropriate release management strategy. Number three, testing, 15%. It contains. Given a customer scenario, describe, and recommend an appropriate testing methodology. Number 4, Governance, 15%. It contains. Given a customer scenario, analyze, 
and recommend the appropriate governance framework. Number 5, Risk Identification and Mitigation, 13%. It contains Understand customer environment risks and articulate appropriate mitigation strategies. Number 6, Change Sets, 5%. It contains Given a scenario, compare, contrast, and recommend the components and tools of a successful deployment strategy. Number 7, Metadata API, 8%. It contains Given a scenario, describe the capabilities, limitations, and considerations when using the Metadata API for deployment. Number 8, Continuous Integration Techniques, 8%. It contains Given a complex customer scenario ability, identify the appropriate use of source control, automated test, and deployment tools, and demonstrate the ability to articulate the process involved. Number 9, Methodology Tools, 3%. Explain the advantages of using Agile tools to support an Agile development process. Number 10, Understanding Packages, 3%. Given a scenario, analyze, and explain the use cases, and considerations when using managed, versus unmanaged packages. Preparation Guide First, Salesforce Training Salesforce provides candidates with training that helps them build confidence, and increase their credibility. In this, candidates can choose to learn online at their own pace, or they can learn from an accredited instructor built by experts at Salesforce. This will be beneficial for both beginners, who are building on existing skills, or who are experienced professionals required knowledge. Salesforce offers two types of training that include 1. Start doing self-study with the available resources, trail mix, architect journey, development life cycle, and deployment. 2. You can attend expert-led courses provided by Salesforce. 2nd, Join community. You can collaborate and study with fellow trailblazers by joining the trailblazer community. The members of this community are both skilled and experienced developers as well as inexperienced learners. So, joining such a community will resolve most of your exam-related problems. These communities are very interactive and updated with new ideas and new development in the market. Therefore, in order to stay updated and get your queries resolved from experiences members make sure to join this community. Third, books. Books are the most trusted and reliable source of information. Books can provide an advantage to learn and understand things more accurately. For the Salesforce Development Lifecycle and Deployment Designer Exam, there are various books available which you can find online or in libraries. Fourth, Exam Practice Tests. Practice tests are one of the most reliable sources of judging the level of preparation. By practicing you will be able to improve your answering skills in a specified time frame that will result in saving a lot of time in the actual exam. The practice test will also act as a doubt solver session for you. So, make sure to find the best practice test which suits your requirement, and start practicing at the earliest. You can also refer to test prep training practice tests, which are based on the actual exam pattern. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.